Welcome back to IO, the channel that simultaneously spills the tea on the fakeness of social media, and we serve you the spiciest news updates on YouTube. I'm Charla, and if this is your first time here, subscribe. If you haven't already, turn on the bell so we get to hang out every day and follow the IO team on social media. I'm about to count down the top 10 celebrities before and after Photoshop part two, since all of y'all love part one so much. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Coming in hot at number 10, we have Bella Hadid. Bella's retouching is quite subtle. She does do this thing though where she makes her eyes a different shape so they appear much more cat-like. She brings them out like this. She also takes about an inch off her waist in almost all the photos she posts. I guess it isn't enough to have been named the most beautiful woman in the world by news outlets. You can always be more beautiful, right? Some people think that her photo manipulation is because she's trying to make herself look like former supermodel Carla Bruni. You have to admit the resemblance is pretty uncanny, especially since she got a nose job. Ooh, shots fired! At number 9 on our list we have Madonna. I know we already included Madonna in part 1, but there are actually quite a few leaked unretouched images of her. And frankly, the unretouched images are getting pretty hard to find, so I did what I could. This picture of Madonna with a cross is quite famous, you can even get posters of it. But as you can see from the photo on the left, it is retouched. A lot. The lines on her face were completely removed, the picture is overexposed so she has virtually no skin texture, and a lot of her face has been totally reshaped. Moving on now to number 8 we have Faith Hill. Faith posed for a cover of Red Book magazine in 2007, and although she was in her 40s at the time, she was made to look quite a bit younger. Glancing at the cover you might not see a whole lot that's different, but like, look at her arm. Do you see it? Huge difference. Her waist is also brought in and the skin under her arm was smoothed out so that it's not popping out of the dress anymore. The shadows next to her face were also removed and the entire photo was brightened quite a bit. But how gorgeous is she in that original photo? For some reason though, looking at them both side to side, I get why they edited the arm. It does kind of look a little bit weird, like it's going to snap in half or something. Moving on now to number 7, we have Megan Fox. Fellas and some ladies, sorry to burst your bubble, but Megan Fox gets retouched just like everybody else. You probably come across photos of Megan online with perfect skin. Most of the photos of her that exist show her looking essentially flawless. But she does have skin texture. The photo on the left is completely unretouched, the photo on the right is what a little photoshop magic can do. And I love how even with the photoshop, her face is pretty much as close to perfect as you can get. She really is one of the most beautiful women alive in my humble opinion. At number 6 we have Tyra Banks. The photo on the left is photoshopped, the photo on the right is unretouched. A few things are different here. First of all, Tyra's token green eyes are much more pronounced in the retouched version. Her eyes are one of the most beautiful parts about her and it just goes to show that they're likely enhanced quite a bit so that they appear lighter and more green. You can also see that Tyra's eyebrows have been filled in. Tyra actually doesn't really have much left when it comes to eyebrows. We know this from her makeup free selfie. Tyra Banks is an open supporter of Photoshop. She famously said that photoshopping empowers women, but while it might feel good to be able to be as thin as you want to be and have the skin you want, the nose you want, the lips you want, it does create unrealistic beauty standards for other people. I see both sides of the argument to be honest. Like sometimes I just don't want everybody to know that I have cellulite, but then just like don't post a picture with cellulite. <laughs> Halfway there, at number 5, we have Kiera Knightley. This was the poster for the film King Arthur. Not much has changed about Kiera's face, but if you look at her chest, she's gone from an A cup to a C cup. Of course, this movie's demographic was men, so maybe the people behind the movie poster wanted to make it more appealing to men. Gigantic jugs. And they did that by enlarging Kiera's breasts. But everyone knows what Kiera really looks like. She's very thin and famously a little bit flat chested. It's one of the reasons why she looks like a supermodel. Many supermodels don't have breasts. I actually love that look on women. Kira is an outspoken critic of Photoshop. She did an unphotoshopped topless shoot with Patrick DeMarchelier for Interview Magazine and said, I've had my body manipulated so many different times for so many different reasons, whether it's paparazzi photographers or for film posters. That shoot was one of the ones where I said, okay, I'm fine doing the topless shoot as long as you don't make them any bigger or retouch. Because it does feel important to say it really doesn't matter what shape you are. Here's another quick before and after Kiera did for Cosmo magazine. At number 4 we have Miranda Kerr. As if a Victoria's Secret model needs to feel like she has to be skinnier, but oh yes, she does. 
Right up to the Victoria's Secret fashion show, models are preparing. These supermodels don't eat solid foods. Many work with personal trainers for hours at a time. They are already as skinny as humanly possible for that runway show. But supermodel Miranda Kerr famously took this photo and made her torso sickly thin. The photo on the left is unretouched. The photo on the right is retouched and was the version that she posted to her Instagram. I also like how she didn't edit her friends to make them look smaller too. <laughs> at number three we have Cindy Crawford. Supermodel Cindy Crawford was a 90s staple. It was difficult to turn on the television and not see an ad featuring Cindy Crawford. But unretouched photos of her emerged in 2015 from a 2013 photo shoot with Marie Claire Mexico. And uh, well, Cindy would have been around 47 years old at the time. No one expects her to look like a young supermodel anymore. Cindy claimed that someone had edited the photo on the left to make it look worse. They enhanced all the imperfections. But photos taken by paparazzi do show that much of what you see in those photos is really there. It's just less sharp. Maybe there's some dodging and burning going on in there, some sharpening. But like, I mean, you get the point, right? At number two on our list, we have Katy Perry. Katy Perry once did a cover for Rolling Stone magazine and apparently they didn't think the original was hot enough. Which is like... What? The original photo ended up being leaked. They made her breast bigger, her thighs slimmer, her stomach more flat and seamless. They removed all the moles from her neck and took her sock off. <laughs> oh, and they also did a number on her right hand. Notice the difference in fingers. It's insane to me that a picture on the left is not beautiful enough to unretouch for Rolling Stone magazine. I wish I looked like that when I sat down. Does anyone else like the before a lot more than the after? I feel like she even looks bigger in the after. Like they just made her look more plump. Plump. Plump Katy Perry. And at number one, we have Lady Gaga. Remember Lady Gaga's iconic Versace campaign? This has to be one of my favorite ad campaigns of all time. So if you're not into fashion, Lady Gaga did a campaign for Versace that was entirely to make her look like a young Donatella Versace. You know, Donatella Versace before all the plastic surgery and Botox ruined her face. So some unretouched photos from the shoot were leaked online. The leaked unretouched photos from the shoot show that Gaga was wearing very minimal makeup for the shoot. They definitely added some makeup in Photoshop. She was also wearing a wig and in the retouched photos the wig was made to look like real hair and the brassy blonde was more platinum. When you see ads for luxury brands like Versace, they almost look surreal because of how glossy and perfect they are. You will then see that ad and subconsciously think, I'm gonna buy that product because I wanna look the way Lady Gaga looks in that ad campaign. But shocker, Lady Gaga doesn't even look the way she does in that ad campaign, so. All right guys, there you have it. I would love to be able to do a part three for you, but honestly, like I said before, the photos are very hard to find. You should always remember that most photos of celebrities are photoshopped unless they come straight from a paparazzi's camera. And of course, if you see them in public and you take a selfie with them. Even videos can be altered with software. For now, I'm gonna wrap this one up with some comment features from part one. Fair Amor said, seeing Charlotte being weird makes me feel more happy being my weird self and less inclined to act normally and how others would like me. What is weird anyway? I like to think that weird people are normal and it's everyone else that's just boring. <laughs> or maybe they're trying to put on a front. Everybody's a little weird, you know? It's just like, either you let that side of you show or you're too afraid of what other people will think. Mackenzie Jordan said, yes, more Charlotte content. I love the top 10 videos. Thank you for this best news years ever. <laughs> I'm really glad that you like the top 10s. I wasn't gonna change the direction of this channel to top 10s unless I thought of ideas that were actually interesting. So I really appreciate that you guys like them. And for all of you that don't, I don't care. <laughs> Cynthia Torres said, I'm so happy I found this page. I wish I found it sooner. Thank you for being such an honest, down to earth host. Well, it's better late than never. You found us and that's what matters. Yeah, now stick around. You'll like what you see. That is it for me. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more and I will see you in a future IO video.